of our cooperation. In contemporary years, we have deepened our relations across the spectrum of our relationship, including political, economic, and cultural, using this civilizational base of our relationship. This development was, in a sense, only natural. Trade and cultural flows to India's east have flourished historically before being disrupted during the colonial period. Our function today, which is part of the celebration of 70 years of our independence, focuses on these historical links and our contemporary ties. India has engaged extensively over the years in the restoration of Buddhist monuments and sites, digitization and printing of uh, sacred and ancient Buddhist manuscripts, showcasing and often presenting sacred Buddhist relics, gifting and painting, gifting and planting Bodhi tree saplings, and celebrating major Buddhist events. These and other activities, including building institutions of Buddhist studies, the recent addition being Nalanda University, have all been a part of our policy to build on our historical and civilizational ties. I'm glad that our next plan of action for the period 2021-25 would focus on enhancing exchanges and promoting study, as well as documentation and dissemination of knowledge on our civilizational links. We also look forward to promoting exchange of teachers, university partners. This would to scores of courses and scholarships on Buddhism related courses, which have emerged as an important area of cooperation. I do hope that the new initiatives which would be launched today would further highlight and deepen our historical and civilizational bonds of friendship with East and Southeast Asian countries. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We would now be showcasing a presentation made by ICCR on developing an interactive template for use by missions for orientation visits by schools and colleges to our cultural centers for better understanding of India's Buddhist linkages. into Korean, Vietnamese, Chinese, and Thai. I would like to request permission of Honorable Minister of State to unveil the translated Jatak Kathas. Is a different okay. just show sure. 
of languages also. Uh, thank you all. I would now request our guest of honor, Minister of State for External Affairs, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, to please give his remarks. Steam ambassadors and high commissioners, my colleagues from MEA in headquarters, and mission abroad. Colleagues from National Museum, we are gathered here to inaugurate and launch various activities which have been chosen to strengthen our Buddhist linkages with the ASEAN and East Asian countries. The, this exercise is being undertaken as a part of the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, announced by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji to commemorate 75 years of our independence. Our missions and posts have accorded high importance to the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav celebrations. Many impactful event have been organized by you to commemorate Akam. I appreciate the enthusiasm of the participant in this event, be they Indian diaspora, friends of India, the local government, or prominent individuals. Above all, I appreciate the efforts and dedications of our missions and posts in taking a calm celebration abroad. Your individual leadership in all these are not worthy. Friends, the initiative and activities which will be unveiled today would give direction to our missions abroad and to reinforce our Buddhist connect with the countries of South, Southeast, and East Asia. They will provide a glimpse of great historical and cultural connect that we share with these countries. Over the years, there have been multitude of initiatives to enhance our cooperation with the countries having Buddhist followers, facilitations of greater Buddhist pilgrimages to India, international conferences on Asian, India, cultural and civilizational link are a few among many that I can't recount. Buddhism from its origins in India has today travel in all four corners of the world, especially in the directions along the web of trans-Asian overland and maritime trade network. Scholars from across Asia came to study in renowned Indian universities such as Nalanda and Taksila and took home with them Buddhist teaching texts and relics. India has numerous sites of importance to the Buddhist faith, be in Bodhgaya, Sarnath, or Nalanda. Buddhism has an established transnational network. 
and has played important role in the lives of millions across the world. Constant nurturing and concerted strengthening of this transnational network would have an impact beyond the realm of cultural diplomacy. Interestingly, the relationship between Buddhism and diplomacy is not a new one. It dates back to the days of Emperor Ashoka. Even today, depending ties with Asian nations on the basis of Buddhism could potentially feed into our large policy objectives and the neighborhood first policy and the act is policy. Let us utilize this proactively. I am confident that during the celebration of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, we would be able to showcase a new India to the world, an Indian India with which is Atma Nirbhar, the development journey of India guided by Atma Nirbhar Bharat is going to give momentum to the development journey of the entire world. Thank you all for joining me today to launch this very important initiative, Jai Hind. Uh, thank you, sir. Our next project is the video by the DPA2 division on the e-IPEC courses offered by our ministry on Buddhist courses and how these courses have been accepted with great enthusiasm by the participants. We would request permission of Honorable Minister to join, launch this video. Lord Buddha taught Bhavatu Sabba Mangala Blessing, Compassion and Welfare of I have learned a lot from this Friday online training course that taught by many experienced teacher, especially by practicing an Pana meditation, which made me feel as I touch peace of mind occasionally. I wanted to enhance or broaden my understanding about the Buddha's teaching. So that's why I start, uh, I opted for joining this uh, course. It was really a very interesting uh, experience for me. Uh, it changed my life and uh, I'm so happy for uh, learning about the uh, Buddha's uh, life. Participants from Asian countries, African countries, and South American countries are participating. Buddha just don't, uh, just didn't uh, give a teaching, but he also taught a meditation technique, Anapana meditation technique and Vipassana meditation technique, with the help of which we can actually change mind. So participants are learning these techniques and they are benefiting and they are very happy with our courses. During the course of this program, we realized that uh, the participants were very eager to understand uh, the Buddhist uh, cultural heritage uh, of India.
thank you DPA2 division for this insightful video. Next, we would be showcasing a beautifully created digital exhibition on interweaving Buddhist art traditions from India across Asia. This exhibition is curated by the National Museum in New Delhi. With the permission of Honorable Minister, we would be launching the digital exhibition. digital exhibition. The longer version would be available on Ministry's social media platform for viewing. With this, we have come to the last project, which is a picturesque and interactive coffee table ebook. Today, we would be showcasing a teaser video of this ebook. The link to the entire ebook would be available on Ministry's social media platform for adequate publicity and dissemination. Thank you. 
We have now showcased and inaugurated all the projects to reflect Buddhist linkages with the ASEAN and East Asian countries. I would now like to request Sri Vishwa Sapkal, JS South, to please give the vote of thanks. Honorable uh, Minister of State for External Affairs, Secretary East, Heads of Missions Abroad, and uh, uh, National Museum representatives, colleagues, it's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I would like to express sincere thanks to Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs, Dr. Rajkumar Ranjan Singh, for gracing us with his presence and for his guiding words on this occasion. I would also like to thank Secretary East, uh, head of divisions involved from uh, the ministry, ambassadors and uh, high commissioners from our missions and definitely from ICCR, National Museum, who have virtually joined us today. I would like to express sincere thanks to the National Museum for curating the enchanting exhibition on Buddhism. The contribution of our mission in Seoul is appreciated in this exhibition. I am grateful to ICCR for making the educative presentation on developing a template for use by missions for orientation visits by schools, college students, to culture centers and missions for better understanding of India's Buddhist linkages. The contribution of XP Division cannot be missed. The wonderful and user-friendly coffee table ebook ECTB has come up with the efforts of XP Division. I request all of you to please go through the ECTB, which would definitely be a template for future ebooks by the ministry. The Zataka Tales books translated into four languages and which would be translated into five more languages is also prepared by XP Division. So our appreciation for this major project as well. I would like to acknowledge contribution of uh, DPA 2 Division for making the informative video of EI Tech courses on the Buddhist teachings. We thank all involved missions for their valuable inputs for these projects, without which these projects would not have been completed. Thank you for all joining today. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. We have now come to the end of this event. Thank you all for your valuable time and for participation in this event.